Okay everybody, so this is the game that uh, I want to show you of Dota 2. As I said, it is a Wii play because when I tried to stream the game, I just had issues because usually when I play it's like try. And here we have the first part of the toxicness. So, let me just explain how it happened. This guy wanted the mid lane, like, this is Trian Protect, the, the hero he played. And uh, he's playing Invoker. This guy wanted the mid lane, and well, let's just take like a quick look at the mid lane here. So, because he couldn't get the mid lane, he wanted to ruin the game for everybody. And look, th th this guy's like, get it over so we can play a real game. Totally with him on that one, kinda, I don't know. But look at this, like, this guy just wanted to ruin this guy's stay, basically, because not only did he steal his lane in his mind, he also stole his pick, even though this guy picked first. So, I mean, if this guy wanted to, you know, do the, like, have the lane, he should have just picked first. Now, you may be like, oh, there's three lanes. It's probably not too much to assume that you can get, you know, the middle lane every time. But you need to keep in mind, in this game, let's just say, like, 80 or 90% of all players want the mid lane, because usually the people that win, like, the mid lane here, and you can already see, like, they're starting to... dying a bit a lot, and... Uh, like, if I recall correctly, then... Basically, Invoker here is talking to Trian Protector and being like, get out of my lane, I, I wanna be alone, blah blah blah. You win my game and stuff like that. It's rang in Russian as well, I believe. And, um... You know, both of them wanna win the game for each other at this point, right? Like, they're, they're getting to that point. None of them want the other to win. And it's like, why bother then? And we had some issue down here with like our support because as a result we, we had to have our secondary support on the off lane here, like the third lane. Because you know we have two in the middle who both wanna win the game basically for everybody else for some reason. Even the enemy team, like they won't get a proper game like this, right? So at this point they're both still like, you know, kinda like, you know, trying to get the best out of it even though they actually want to ruin it for each other, pretty much, just what it is. And it just gets worse and worse, trust me. So, anyways, like, let's get down to my pick here. I'm actually building a Battle Fury this game, and uh, some of you, if you know, like, what a Battle Fury is, it's basically this item that allows you to cleave, so you can push lanes. And uh, also I'm playing the carry, this means I basically have no early game impact. Even though I picked Juggernaut, who is like one of the carries who have a bit more early impact than others. And uh, therefore I basically need farm. So not only is it a good pushing item, like removing a wave, like all of these creeps very fast. And uh, you get to push the tower, and seeing as the goal is to actually like finish the game, like kill this thing here. Then pushing is a very good thing to have. So right now I'm just trying to farm, I'm trying to get farm because I know, like, basically from the picking, I know that these two in the middle are gonna ruin the game, basically, just... Like, they're even, like, going, what are you doing? Because they're basically just feeding and buying back. Like, they're paying money to get back, like this, and just go around and feed and ruin the game, basically. Like, this guy, he, he's like... He basically have to solo support. Like, usually you have to... This guy would probably be fifth, so he would be spending more of his money and stuff, like time supporting, while the other guy would probably be roaming, which is the Ricky here. He would have been, like, roaming and trying to get our team kills, and maybe win the mid lane for us, if this had been, like, a real game and not this toxic thing. But uh, I managed to get my first kill there, I believe. Yeah, I already had an assist, like, earlier as well. Don't think we saw that, but... Um, I just know that I need to sum this game. We need to finish before like 30 minutes because after 30 minutes this guy, the anti-mate here, usually wins the game between like 30 and 40 minutes because he's like very good farmer. He farms very fast, he gets a lot of items quickly and I am in a bit of a problem here by looks but it should be fine. So I, I'm actually like just looking and I'm like, okay, he has 4 he have one four. It's like they're basically just, you know, feeding at this point. Like he's trying to enjoy this game by ruining the game for the other. And they're just like he's just standing around there feeding. Like he didn't even try to survive there. He just want to ruin the game basically. It's like that's the kind of thing that that just happens again. The thing you need to keep in mind is. 
they aren't adaptable because like 80% of players want to be in that mid lane because usually winning the mid lane means that you have a very good chance at winning the game and you know everybody want to be that star, the hero, you know. And now this guy's like, you know, he's like, oh, I guess I've ruined enough mid, like he's gonna get, like, he's gonna start feeding or whatnot, I've ruined his life now. Now I'm gonna ruin like every chance we have of winning by basically he's going and trying to steal my last hits but he's failing horrendously as you can see the gold is like my color not orange so I'm basically getting all the gold there he tried to steal my last hits and like rob my gold it's just you can just see this game degenerating like he just ran into them again like he basically died here while they were here so they had to like he's, he's basically just that, that's why this guy also like changed around and tried to ruin it other places because now his like his goal is like complete. Now this guy's just degenerating himself and want the game to be over, so he just keeps running straight into the lane and dying. So as you can see, like he have seven deaths, he have six deaths. They're just legit trying to ruin this game and being toxic. It's not really fun for anybody, not even the enemy team. And uh, I know I'm on a timer again. Like I have two kills, two assists. So I'm really trying to get the snowball, or like trying to, to escalate the game in our favor even though we, we are basically hopeless in this game. Because, and that's just hopeless when, when they have that kind of lineup. They have what, three, four cores. Like, this is the co like, course means that they're building good items, but we're basically getting, or trying to get a kill here. Doesn't seem to work out that well, we lost a guy. And then I'm just going in and getting that kill there. So I'm currently on a killing spree, that means I've got three kills without dying, and... Like I saw that guy, I'm trying to run, but taking a bit too much damage. If I recall, I'm actually getting away from this situation, even though it's pretty damn hopeless. Like that was just, like if he had predicted a bit early, like a bit later down, I would have easily died. But I did activate my face boots to move a bit faster, so that may have thrown him off. Like you can activate these every uh, 8 seconds to get like about like 2 to 3 seconds extra movement speed and again this guy's just, you know, he, he just keeps running. He basically, his goal is to run up in their fountain where there's like some protection that instantly kills you. That's his goal in this game. He's still just, you know, running up there, feeding, buying back and uh, trying to feed more basically. And I'm just thinking, okay, bottom doesn't work anymore, they have like rotated everybody there, I'll try to go top and help my team push. I still don't have a single item by the way. I have my boots, but that doesn't really count as an item. And um, I don't think any on our team, like, he have boots, he just got boots recently. So, our team basically only have boots. This guy already have a blink dagger, which is a real item. This guy's working on an item by looks. He have boots and is pretty much the same progress as me but the thing is like after he got his battle fury that I'm working on as well he farms faster than me this guy got his boots as well and stuff and boots basically right now we have about the same farm as them on our three heroes but they have it on five heroes and have such a big lead so right now we are like trying to take out him because we know that guy is gonna win the game if we don't do anything about him And now we seem to be in problem. Like they're just rotating everybody. They want to shot the last resistance we have down, so they've secured the game. That's basically their goal now. Yeah, this is... I mean, I'm just trying my best here. Like right now, I'm just... I shouldn't even be online. Like, it's 11 minutes in. Right now, I should be working on getting my first item, which is the Battle Fury. And I'm just trying to go online here. So this is where I see the smoke cloud, which basically means that they can't cast spells and have a chance to miss. So I just went into a kill. Then I wanted to escape, but I couldn't in time, because they just had more, like, stronger people at the time there. He's, like, dead again. Like, he just ran behind that tower and died. Like, you can just look like Tinders. He, he just, like, legit respawns and runs to the mid lane and dies. That's his plan for the rest of the game here. That's how toxic... MOBAs can be for some reason. This is not even ranked. This is unranked. That's the funny part. This is like just you know a casual game for fun and some people just can't have fun. It's like It's like why, why do you have to be mad? It's just a game like we're just trying to have fun. You're ruining the game for You want to ruin it for him, but he want to ruin the game for everybody like both of you want to ruin the game for everybody because of the other So why ruin the game? It doesn't make sense 
basically I have almost all our teams like ki uh, basically kill participation. I have like half hour kills. Finally got my battle fury and let's look at him. Ah, he's getting close, but I'm ahead of him right now. I believe if we go look at net worth, I see, yeah, I'm not on the top by quite a lead. This is basically how much gold that we have and that covers like in items like spend and such. And I'm just, you know, with with the help from my heavy support here, even though he, he doesn't have much impact because he is, as said, solo supporting this. He's trying to get his blink dagger desperately. He's getting a lot of gold because he's playing very well, by the way. And just, you know, with me, we're trying to win this. And, like, this guy's also very cooperative. I mean, he's trying. And um, hopefully he will get online in time to actually help us out. But uh, let's take a look at what's going on. I'm just trying to push. I, I know that we need to finish before like 30 minutes if you want to have a chance. Or at least before 40. At least before 40. Else this game is just not going to happen. And as they are being fed, maybe even earlier. But uh, I saw my chance here to go in and take a kill. Because this guy was trying to feed again, but not really. So, like, it's like, oh, okay, now there are people, now I actually want to survive kind of thing. And uh, then we got the kills off of it, even though, like, he is a feeder. Like, just want the game to be ruined, basically. And, um, you know, if he doesn't have to die, then may as well get some assists, right? I don't know. Maybe some gold to his items, because he still seems like you want to have fun, like, build an item, like Shadow Blade or some shit. And why not survive if you can, then, and get some assists? I don't know. That's probably what he's thinking at least. This guy... Legit, this is where he's looking at. Just clicking there once every time he respawns. And he's just... If we go to like the free camera, we just see him. He's just... That's like how toxic some people are. Like... What the fuck is wrong with people, honestly? It's like... To be honest, if he helped us, we would have won this game now. I, like, I'm the carry, I have 7-1. I would have won it, and that's against fat people. That's people who are getting an unfair advantage. Like, what the fuck? We would have won this game so fast if people had corroborated instead of being asses, basically. Basically, waste of time for everybody involved. I'm trying to be a bit cheeky go f going for this kill. He uses his ultimate to like stun me. If there had been allies of mine around, they would also be forced to attack me. Looking a bit down here, want to help them, but it doesn't work out. It's too late. I'm too late. Maybe if I hadn't gone for that, ki like trying to go for that kill middle, I could have been able to, to help them in time. But then I just decided to farm. I, I want some lockdown so I can actually stun them. Mostly the anti mate so he can't blink away because you have an ability that allows him to teleport. And that's also why he's so effective at farming. And I believe his battle fury is incoming now. So he's gonna be picking up farm. As you can see he's like their second net worth. I'm still having a significant lead. So I'm doing well if this were a normal game. But as it's not, and they actually have pretty strong heroes against me and my game goal, also with my pick, because these guys, like, this, like, situation, as I said, happened while picking, where they started acting like immature children and babies and whatnot. So I knew I had to pick a guy who can actually push fast, and that's Juggernaut. Trying to get a kill there, knew I was gonna die, because I fucked up there, I went like 1 versus 3. Hoped I could get off my ultimate earlier, but like he used his ultimate, which like this guy used his ultimate, which which is basically a big stun that just targets like in an area and stuns everybody. And then this guy also have like two stuns, like the the stone guy here called Tiny. It, it just didn't work out that well. Like this guy again, he just keeps going in and feeding. It's like, why are you going in there? And then like we're putting a bit like, like. Basically trash talk, you won't win 4 versus 6 and like, I intend to carry my team no matter how shitty. Actually 3 versus 7 because we have 2 feeders. And now Ricky just came, like he just started doing stuff, that's what I had hoped. Like, that Ricky would actually start coming online and he have his diffusion blade, that's usually what allows a Ricky. And uh, Rasta is another, like that's uh, the Warcraft 3 name for like Shadow Shaman here. So I, I, I'm just saying I believe in these two people that aren't feeding basically. And uh, that person is like, stop wasting my time and let me play a real game. And it's just like, you know, we're, we're just trying, like, we want to have fun, we want to make the best of it. Sadly, our Shadow Shaman didn't, like, didn't get the kill, didn't get the building. He was trying, he's trying his best. He is at a very unfair disadvantage because you have to, again, solo support. 
And basically this is squishy hero, like everybody's gonna be wanting to kill him, it's just not going too well at all. But I think we'll be doing a time skip or something, so this isn't as boring, but uh, let's see about that. I started to die a bit more by Luke's anti-mage is online, he have his man to style, that's usually what makes him like online. And um, our invoker now have 18 deaths, and our twin protector now have 13 deaths, so as you can see they're ke keeping it up. As I had hoped for, Rick is starting to actually do stuff, he's actually like taking over the carrying, even though I should be carrying the game, I'm kind of falling a bit off, which is funny, but that's how the game goes when you're like people down, can't really farm, I have to fight, I have to try and like get an advantage here, and it's just not going too well. And the house out solo support looking like, he's doing all right, all things considered, but just not looking that well, I'm gonna go a bit further ahead. Okay, so here we are a bit further ahead. People still dying, like, I'm, I I died another time, got a few kills, like, the, the weak has died a bit. And um, we're basically trying to kill the anti-mate here. Again, like, we know that he can't be allowed to go on. He also have, like, lockdown now, like, the Bastion that I was building as well to, like, stun people. I've upgraded mine, though, so I have a secure lockdown. We're just assuming, okay, he's gonna go back to farming, and, um, well, there he was. And we're just gonna go for the kill on the animates now, which is huge. And yeah, basically, like, the, the reason why I thought we would go ahead is because, like, I've been over the game, I've spent a long while explaining a lot of things, and um, I don't think you guys need to see just how many times they go, like, down the mid intentionally trying to win the game. These guys, again, like, the two people that I actually believe in, got another kill, and this just means, okay, now we should definitely try and push. It's like, basically, three versus three now, we have a chance at this. That's what I'm, like, you can't see it in Allies chat, of course, but that's what I'm trying to say. But, like, as you can see, like, the enemy team is a bit smack-talking us, being a bit rude with stuff. But, um, we are trying to defend our honor here. And this is, like, huge if we can get these barracks. Like, they haven't got a single barracks. This means that in this particular lane, this will always be pushing because we get stronger, like, creeps. You know, these little things here. They're called creeps. We get stronger of those if, if we take these two down in this, like, particular lane. That smoke cloud just prevented that guy from stunning all of us there. And then he goes for the solo stun there. I, I shouldn't have gone for this. I wanted to save the wiki. I got greedy. This was a mistake. And then I, I have to pay with my life here. I just wanted to, like, you know, save my teammate. Do have buyback in case it goes bad. But we got the barracks. So all in all... Should have cut my losses myself and uh, run back instead of trying to save the Reiki and, you know, trying for the team play thing. And as you can see, like, the levels at this stage, these guys, these two guys are just feeding. Like, he's still level 8, he's still 11. And he's even been trying to, like, survive some fights, get some experience just for the, you know, fun of it, maybe. But, again, like, he's just standing there. He's just standing there, literally just feeding again. Like, legit, no point, he's given up. At even trying to win the game anymore, he's just, yeah, the game is ruined, it's in the back, we've completed it, like, kind of thing. And uh, I'm usually the player that don't really talk smack until the game is over, but this guy, again, like, not doing anything at all, just waiting to die. I, I don't usually, like, talk smack to try and, like, win my team spirit, be like... Let's say somebody played bad, like these two feeders. I'm not like talking to them directly in like the allies chat right now or in the all chat or talking about them because I'm like, hey, we still have a go at winning. We can still try. We can still try. And if I start ruining people's motivation or like, oh, we've lost, then no, we, we, we won't ever have a chance at winning. But th at this point, I think we can still have a chance at winning because we have that barracks lead. And if I talk like, insulted any teammates or like been toxic even though I don't tend to be that kind of person or you know basically like that because I were mad at how our team were feeding then we would never have even had the chance to get those barracks so that like team coordinated pick off that we had like on the anti mates and then my, my two other teammates got on the tiny after and then actually managing to to get the barracks as said He's mine. But, like, our time is also almost up. You can see how far ahead the anti mates got. Like, I was leading so much, and then I've been shot down. Like, I have seven deaths now. 
And uh, I'm so, f like, I'm getting far ahead in this world. Like, the Rick is even catching up to me, and he were, like, so far behind in the early stages. And as you can see, he's one of the, like, main carry factors on our team right now. The, the guy that is, like, getting the win. And I just see this is going bad, so I try and go in. Maybe we can kill the anti mage. But then we get, like, that big AoE stun on us, and I'm gonna die. There's just no way around it. And uh, at this point, stuff just starts looking very grim. I don't even know why this guy's trying to escape or anything. Like, he's been feeding the whole game, but now for some reason he doesn't want to. I don't know. And this is just, like, the game just looks so... And, and this is where, I, like, this is where I've, like, decided, okay, the game is... Like, the game is gonna be over soon. May as well, like, start, start a typing. And then... The window wyvern again, that's the this person here. Thanks for wasting my time, is that like person saying? And then I'm like, game lasted too long, and then you can blame Invoker and Twin for that. And then game would have been over five minutes ago from our side, like if they wouldn't have fared basically. And um, when I'm just like, I could have AFK'd, you knew it was on, like we could have AFK'd. And then I'm like, no, we shouldn't. And we're basically just like assuming that the game is, is pretty much over at this point. <coughs> like they, they are trying to finish it up here but like we know the game is over and um, basically like like they just need to kill us like I'm dead there's nothing to do I'm just like talking about the game you know and um, yeah they're going for another pair of barracks here and there's like like, that's just trash talk in the chat now, but it's because, like, the game is basically over now. So we may as well, and there we go, we won the game. As I said, the game is basically over. May as well start, um, trash talking, and that's also why I were like, uh, you guys suck if you saw that. And then I'm complimenting my, like, solo support for basically winning the game there. Uh, it looks a bit weird, but, um, it's just to get, like, the chat what's going on here. He's like, I I'm using my logic where he's, like, saying... Like, if you AFK, you know the game is 100% over. Like, he's basically being like, oh, we would have we won this if you just had stayed AFK. And I'm like, hey, listen, we would already have won this game, like, way long ago if you guys, like, if, if our team didn't have two toxic shits that we're feeding. And uh, I'm like, seriously, though, because if we actually go and look at my player perspective, if I can, like, yeah, if we go and look at my player perspective, like, the last, I think, that's that was a bit too far but basically if we look at my player perspective here even though there's this like this victory thing up um, I'm basically looking here and then I realize something isn't right here like I'm, I'm dead of course I have time to look around and I'm just realizing oh wait oh wait what's happening oh <laughs> what's happening and then I'm just like oh yeah We've totally won this. And he's like, get out of here with your retarded logic. And then I'm ready to start talking smack here. Seriously though, because I'm looking at this, as you can see here. Like, I'm seriously looking at this. And then I'm like, seriously though, you guys suck. Ultimate <laughs> smack talk back, because look at this shit. There we go. Like, look at that. That was my... And then I'm like, rest the carry, as said. Like, and all this... All the city's just going down, and our rig is even like DG easy, and then even the enemy team is laughing because that was so anticlimactic. It's like at that point you've basically expected the enemy team are gonna finish, but no. It, it, it was such like such a toxic game, but it shows that you should never give up. It shows that even with toxic shit, even if there's one toxic guy, even if there's two, I've never had two people who are so bent on ruining the game for everybody. Like, just wanting to lose the game so badly for the other person. Being so toxic, like, I couldn't even show you all the allies yet that were going on and all the beef and shit that were going on with that. Like, it was so toxic. It, we placed us the allow for that. And nothing in the end matters because we could still win. We could still, like, kick the enemy's asses for being smart asses. Like, and all thanks to, like... Me keeping the early game, even though I weren't supposed to. I ended with 8 deaths, 11 kills. I, I did my stuff. I did my stuff. Like, I did an impact to the game. But then, Wiki 2 go over, and my Shadow Shaman, like, the, the solo support, basically won us the game. Because, um, like, we as a trio took each part of, like, the 
the heavy load of the game, even though we had two people who were basically trying to ruin and giving the enemy so much free gold and trying to ruin the game, basically. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you again next time.